Today we will do some problems involving simple interests. So it's important that we understand the simple interest formula. And that is I equals P times R times T. Interest is amount of interest that you either make or you pay back. P is the principal, that's the initial amount of money. R is the interest rate, but it's very important. You use a decimal or fraction version of your, um, of your percent interest rate. Let's clean this up. Okay, time is also a little tricky. Time is in years. And if we are talking about one, two years, that's fine. You just enter one, two. But if we're talking about less than a year, like six months, you have to enter 0.5. So it has to be in years. Um, the other thing you need to know about is about the R. And R has to be your annual interest rate. Okay, now that we know the formula, I equals PRT, we can do some problems. The first type of problem is just finding the interest. And the problems are going to be worded some like, find the interest you must pay if you borrow $2,000 for one year at an interest rate of 8.5%. Find the interest you must pay. So that means you don't know it. Principal is $2,000 because that's how much you started with. The rate is going to be 8.5%, and we are talking about one year. So if you remember the formula, I equals PRT, they are asking the I, and you don't know what it is, and P is 2000. R is, remember, it has to be in the percent form. I mean, uh, in the fraction or decimal form. So it's going to be 0 0.085. And T is 1. When you multiply these three numbers, you're going to get $170, and which is your answer. Then you can put this in here. Let's do a different color. All right, and that's the end of the problem. Now, let's talk about uh, the second problem. If you invested $4,000 for two years at an annual interest rate of 3.5%, how much interest will you earn? Now, let's put down what we know. 4000 is our principal. And we're talking about two years, so the T is two. Annual rate of 3.5%. Again, the unknown is the interest. Now, please note that now we have a situation where you have more than one year. But the problem is the same. I equals PRT, so P is... 4,000 are in decimal form 0 0.035 and T in years is 2. When you multiply these three numbers, you're going to get 280, which is the answer. You can actually take that and put that in here. That's our unknown. All right. How about another problem? If you invested $55,000 for three months, now we have less than one year, at a rate annual rate of 4.5%, how much 
how much interest will you earn now you have to pay a little more attention you invested fifty five thousand dollars at an annual rate of four point five percent that's very good but be careful with the time the time is three months and it has to be in years what is that in years three over twelve okay so you have to understand that you cannot just enter the three in there it has to be three over twelve so again we are asked to find the interest rate i equals P fifty five thousand R is point zero four five T is simply three over twelve. When you multiply these three numbers and divide by twelve, you're going to get six hundred eighteen point seventy five, which is your answer. Then you can go and put that in. 618.75 so the only thing that you need to watch out for is to um, enter the times in years and even if they are in months and then the rates in decimals or fractions let's talk about more complex problems for example, one would be if you invested $4,000 for six months at an annual interest rate of 2.5%, how much money will you have at the end of six months? They are giving you the principal, which is $4,000. They are giving you the rate, which is 2.5%. They are giving you the time, which is 6 over 12 ye in years, which is 0.5, half a year. Now, the first thing we need to do is to calculate the interest you'll make. So that's going to be I equals PRT, I equals P, 4,000. R is 0 0.025, T is 0.5 years. When you go, you calculate that, you will be getting 4,000 times 0 0.025 times 6 over 12 or times 0 0.5. That will give you 50. But that's not what they're asking. They're saying, how much money will you have? That means you have to add the interest to your principal. Your principal initially was 4000 Then you have to add the interest to it. You end up 4050 which is the answer they're looking for. So the only difference between this type of problem and the previous ones is that you have to go one more step with this one. Now let's do another one. Find the interest rate. Oh, this time they are not giving you the interest rate. Find the interest rate you must pay if you borrow 10,000. So 10,000 is your principal. For six months, the time is 6 over 12, which is 0.5 years. Now, how am I going to get the rate? They are giving you the I. Well, they're not giving you the I. They're giving you the P. So you need to go and you need to um, find out how much interest you're going to make. Now, the interest is going to be the difference between how much money you have at the end minus the initial amount. So that your I is going to be 12500 minus 10,000. That's the interest you made. So that we're talking about $2,500. So if you write the I equals PRT formula, 2,500 equals P, which is 10,000. R, we don't know. T is 0.5. 
you can actually find the r by dividing both sides of this equation by the numbers that are together with r and do the same on the left hand side then you'll find out that r equals 2500 divided by the product of 0.5 and 10,000. When you do that, you'll get an R of 0.5. And what does that mean? You, you are not done. You need to change that back to percent. 0.5 times 100, that's 50. So we are talking about 50 percent. All right, let's do a last problem. Assume that you borrow $1,000 from your parents. So 1000 is your principal. At a simple interest rate of 25%. When you pay them back in full, you paid them $1,500. How much time passed? So you don't know T. All right. So let's find out what the interest is. Interest is how much you paid back and your uh, minus initial amount. So it's going to be 1500 minus the 1000. So you paid $500 in interest. So let's write that down. I equals 500 equals PRT. P is 1000. R is 0.25 t is you don't know so to find a t you divide both sides by 1000 times 0.25 1000 times 0.25 when you do that you'll get t of 2 what does that mean you pay them back in two years. That's the answer.